What's up, y'all? It's Jason again. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm a personal trainer. I live here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'll be going over some uh, personal training reviews, uh, a, a personal trainer's view on some stuff. Uh, I'll be judging it like a normal person, not necessarily a personal trainer or someone super fit. I'm just kind of going over things to help the, the average person figure out uh, from my point of view, how some things work, uh, if, if they're great, if they're not great. Um, pros and cons, basically, not necessarily bashing any products. I'll never bash any products. I'll always give a good and a, and a could, could improve thing. So pros and cons on everything. So today, I'm going to go over Crunch Fitness here in Phoenix, Arizona. It was off of 19th Avenue and Union Hills. Sorry, Bell, 19th Avenue and Bell Road. Uh, if, if you're looking for a gym, uh, I'll be doing probably quite a few of these reviews. I'll be going around to different uh, gyms, paying the do uh, day fees and stuff like that. Uh, this one I only went to once, so keep that in mind with the review, take that with a grain of salt. Um, so I only went once. Uh, with this gym, I'm gonna go over the pros and cons real quick. Low cost and lots of equipment. So if you're looking for a gym that is very inexpensive, uh, and has pretty much multiple pieces of everything, this is a great gym for that. I saw just in the machine side of it, just the, the, the plate-loaded selectorized lever, uh, level of equipment, those, I think they had three sets of everything, so you're not gonna probably have a problem getting to equipment. On the negative side, the atmosphere was kinda eh, kinda meh, it wasn't, wasn't super great. Uh, and again, keep in mind, I've only, I only went there once. Uh, not enough leg equipment, and that one that's really the biggest dig I have for that, that gym is there's not enough leg equipment. They have three sets of leg machines, but it's all leg press, leg extension, leg curl. Uh, they don't have a variety of leg presses or even uh, squat type machines like the hack squats, things like that. Uh, so let's go over the atmosphere. Atmosphere was kind of, like I said earlier, it was kind of meh. It didn't really have that didn't have the music wasn't up very loud um, it wasn't very much lighting it was pretty dark in there and uh, just kind of a blah atmosphere if you're self-motivated and stuff it's gonna be fine energy wise same thing with the atmosphere kind of draws into that atmosphere the energy didn't really have that I want to work out in this place atmosphere uh, you know sometimes when you go to a gym and you just get that 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 shot of electricity that says yeah I'm gonna work out uh, and don't get me wrong, not, not every gym is going to have that, and uh, sometimes you're not going to vibe with other gyms, but I've been in, in the fitness industry since 2004, and if a gym has a good vibe, it'll have a good workout energy. You'll kind of feel like working out being there. Uh, staff. So let's break down the staff. So the front desk staff wasn't bad. Uh, wasn't the greatest front, set, front desk staff I ever worked with uh, or had to interact with. They took my information, gave me my pass, and didn't really bother me. Now on the sales staff, the with the fitness industry, it's very important to make a good impression the very first time. Uh, I introduced this to zero sales staff. No one walked me around the gym, no one showed me any equipment, no one talked to me about how the gym worked or functioned, not even the, not even the front desk staff. Uh, so that's a real negative on my, my end. Uh, if I was a regular person, that would really pull me away from the gym. And to be honest, it kind of pulled me away from that one. Um, not, a, not a great vibe to start off with. If, if you don't know what you're doing, it'd probably burn you a little bit. Now granted, I do know what I'm doing and I do have the appearance of being relatively fit. I'm not out of shape, so they probably assumed I knew what I was doing. Uh, personal training staff, I didn't get to introduce to any of them at, at either. Uh, I did see quite a few of them, I think three or four walking around. Uh, one guy specifically, I believe he had the, he had client after client while I was there. He was probably there for about an hour and a half. Uh, he was pretty busy. Um, don't know anything about him, not going to make any judgments or anything like that. So, But they were there. So if you are looking for help, you could probably ask them. Equipment, I'm just going to kind of go over the equipment again. Great amount of equipment large large amounts of equipment just not enough legs members didn't really interact <laughs> excuse me 
didn't really interact with any members. Um, there were quite a few, and it wasn't a regular time. It wasn't a prime time hour. Again, if you guys are uh, normal people, generally the gym's prime time hour starts around four, maybe five, and goes until about eight or nine, depending on the gym. That prime time basically means it's its busiest time. It's when the most people are off and at the gym. So I don't believe I was anywhere near prime time. I believe I was in like in the middle of the day, maybe noon or something. So it was pretty low at that point. And to have personal trainers there at noon or one is is pretty good. Um, that's generally personal trainers off hours. Uh, most personal trainers work shift work, which sucks for us. But most employees or most uh, most of our uh, clients are going to be off at the end of the night or in the beginning of the day. Uh, again, no real interaction with men members there. Not a lot of amenities. If you're looking for classes and stuff, I don't really believe that these guys had too many classes. I think they really focused on, on just the trainer interactions. Uh, they did have showers, bathrooms. Uh, I do believe they had massage and tanning. I'm not entirely sure. Again, I was only there for one day, uh, like an hour and a half or two hours. So let's just kind of go over real quick. Cost versus value. Uh, for me, it's a no. In fact, I didn't join there at all. I ended up going to another gym, which I'll review later, and ended up joining there. Uh, again, for you, maybe. I, I mean, it's, it's a maybe. If you're looking for community and interaction with other people and, and a sense of belonging, I'm not sure this is going to be the place for you. Um, now, if you're just if you're just a regular person that just wants to go in, get workout in, and go, it could be a great gym for you. Uh, I'm never gonna knock any gym. Just on my say, for me personally, uh, I need, I don't need, I want more leg stuff. Um, and this just did not have it. It also didn't have the, the atmosphere that I, I, I'm looking for. Again, I've worked in the gym industry for a very long time and I know how important a fun, energetic atmosphere is. One of the best companies I've ever worked for is called Pure Fitness. And they uh, really trained us on how to have a member experience, so it wasn't there for this one. Um, again, guys, I'm, I'm just a regular dude. I'm not reviewing this for uh, personal trainers that are looking for the best gym ever to get the best workout ever. I'm just doing reviews on gyms and gym type stuff, whether it's you know Fitbits or things like that or equipment or shirts or shoes uh, for the normal average person. So I thank you guys for, for watching. If you could, please like the video, share it, um, tell your friends about it, and comment below with things you want me to review. Um, I am going to review the, the Fitbit Versa Charge 2, also do the Apple Watch, the Beats, um, wireless, I'll be doing the over ear and I'll do, be doing the inner ear, in the ear, um, and I'll be doing some reviews on some cheaper th things that kind of fall within those ranges. I do have some copied power beats that aren't from power or aren't from beats. They're from a, a off brand. And then I have some AirPods that are off brand. I'll be reviewing those as well. So again, guys, if you have anything you want me to review, just leave it down in the comments. Um, and also if you're looking for exercise, uh, so if you're looking for workouts and stuff, I am doing a Patreon. The awesome thing about this Patreon is it's very low cost. Uh, I have four tiers. I have a bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. If you do any one of those tiers, you're gonna get any number of workouts a month. The bronze, I believe, is one. Uh, silver will go up and it'll go up as you go along. And I believe as that gets busier and stuff, we'll have more and more workouts. So appreciate you guys if you help me out, get this channel going and get some more regular reviews for regular people. Uh, so if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the uh, comments below. And again, please share, like, and subscribe.